okay hey everyone all uh, we'll slowly start the class webinar so am i audible and clear just a mic check yes we can hear you okay thank you very much and all of you thanks for your um, support and joining this webinar so i just uh, give a just high level brief introduction. So what I will do is in this webinar, first I will be starting with my introduction. After that, I'm going to give a high level overview of how the course is going to be. And then what are the opportunities we are having uh, with the Power BI and Postgres SQL? And then uh, how I am going to help you in the certification and how the certification is going to help. And finally, any Q&A. Okay, so this is the order we follow. Uh, if you have any doubts during the webinar, you can post it in the chat channel. Okay, so all the chat channel would be available for Zoom chat. And this webinar would be recorded and uploaded in the YouTube so that you can watch this uh, after the webinar also. And you can share the same thing to your friends and uh, family members. All right. Yeah. Right. So I'm just keeping all of you on the mute just to avoid any noise. Right. Hey, so my name is Hari and I'm from India and I'm working in the leading uh, bank. Uh, British bank and uh, I am having an experience of 13 years of experience in the IT world right along with I'm a, a professional trainer uh, in the hack uh, Hajel Hanson coaching institution where Lakshmi is leading and in this I have given a training for various streams like Microsoft basics MS office training and from last couple of years my main focus is with the Postgres SQL and Power BI, right? Now, why is it important, right? Why we need to choose Power BI as our career, uh, as our career choice, right? Just for this one, I just want to show you one simple uh, flow diagram. So if you see here, data to insights journey right uh, if you see currently all the industries are adopting technology right whether to perform their activities or to see what is their business is moving what is their business how the business is growing whether it is having profits or lost just one second Hmm. So where we are, we are at the data to insights journey, right? So majority of industries, I can say it's not majority, it's kind of 99% industries, whether it is a small scale, medium scale, large scale. Now everyone is adopting the technology. So with adopting this technology, what is happening? Now everything, whatever the activity that is performing by that business, it need to be captured in the form of documents or in the form of data, right? Either in the database, Excel sheet, any of the files, whatever it may be. So now the next thing comes to analyze this data. So now suppose if you take a simple coffee shop, right? That has set up in our streets, just in a local street. Now they are doing all their sales through a computer or laptop, which is having their capturing their sales, they're capturing their inventory, they're capturing their profits and loss. Now, all this data need to be analyzed, right? They need to be arranged in an ordered fashion, process it, 
analyze it and provide an insights to the coffee shop manager then only he can take a decision on which products that he need to uh, sell that is giving the profits and which products sales are not good so to do all these things now in the market we have a lot of technologies right so if you see the diagram data insights where we have a data factory right in this we have a lot of things like machine learning hadoop storage and at the top you can see where we get the incoming data through the streaming analytics and we are also having some sql databases so our power bi helps to process all this data and create a beautiful insights so that those can be used by the management or senior stakeholders to take the right decision and that in turn helps their business growth right so that is the reason all these business intelligence tools there is a lot of demand for the business intelligence tools right uh, so that is the reason now it is people who are working on data engineering or data projects or like business intelligence they have a lot of demand so that is the reason uh, the first reason that helps us to decide whether we want to opt for this course or not right now second thing i will just let you know what are the major streams we are covering in part of our course and why we have chosen these particular tools right so if you see our course is a combination of three topics data warehousing postgres sql and power bi right so what is the reason for data warehousing so our course is structured in a way that we are covering entire course 10% covers data warehousing and 30% covers postgres sql and rest of the 60% covers power bi now anyone can ask hey harish i am interested in power bi do i really not to know data warehousing and postgres sql means uh, i will just take you to our previous slide right so if you see here our power bi is on the right side right so to know more and go to in depth of power bi we should be very strong in our basics right i believe in this one whatever the course i normally taught to any of the students whether it's a microsoft office or microsoft power bi or database i tell them that we should be very strong in the basics at the same time we should have a some visibility beyond our tool okay so if you take a power bi power bi is going to get the data from files database streamings and all those things so and within the power bi we have a concept called like data models or semantic models so what these do is they will arrange the data in a fashion that it would be good enough and it maintains the data integrity consistency right and history all these three things so for this one the fundamentals is data warehousing concepts so we are covering data warehousing concepts right along with that one after that from left we will be slowly moving to the right after that we are going to learn one database right because if you see for any postgres sql uh, for any business intelligence tool definitely 100% it is going to interact with one of the database and in the market there are a lot of databases microsoft sql oracle um sql server mongo db lot are there no sql right so out of this i feel that postgres sql is a open source open source means it's completely free of cost you don't need to pay anything you just can download the software right and install it and the good thing is postgres sql is providing us the full version on the free 
other databases are there but we need to pay them and we are going to get only limited access to the features whereas postgres sql is going to help us uh, it gives us the full completely full software with full features on a free and good thing is that sql is like english language so if you learn english language then it helps us to communicate with uh, uh, members who knows english language from other languages right similarly if you learn sql on postgres sql definitely if you need to work on any microsoft sql oracle all those things then it would be easy for you to understand sql structured query language it's a universal language to interact with all the databases right so that is the reason we have chosen postgres sql right and coming to the power bi now the power bi software right this is the designed and developed by microsoft office so microsoft is the parent company for power bi right and the good thing with the power bi is that the view and the features majority are looks like microsoft office excel okay so my understanding is people who are new to the it world right they are more or less familiar with microsoft tools microsoft office tools like ms word excel they have some level of hands on right so with those level of knowledge we can easily start practicing microsoft power bi also there is a tableau is there and micro strategy different business intelligence tools are there but after analyzing all these tools what i feel is that microsoft power bi is the best one for the new students who are coming to the it world right so that is the reason we handcrafted and picked microsoft power bi right so any questions till now maybe you can post it in the chat channel i just want to understand so that i will go further in detail how we are going to have this course structured and then what are the opportunities we have uh, for these particular technologies and how we are going to work on the certification part i will just take a small pause here just a 30 seconds pause you can post your doubts or queries in the chat channel can you be job ready in 45 days uh, sister right question right yes 45 days is a good enough if we are dedicatedly uh, practicing the course and working on the certification right so it's a combination of completing the course and completing the certification and i'm going to provide you full support along with i'm going to guide you in preparing your resumes and guidance on the interviews and i'm going to show you some uh, chart gpt answers also because it gives clearly states that uh, one month to six months is the best time to complete a, these courses and get a job i mean dedication let me show you i, I know this answer question i'm going to get i just posted a, this i'm just asking the chart gpt also this question uh, where is the chart gpt uh, did i close it that one by mistake like closer i think let us ask chat gpt how many days it required for or bi mm, i just asked this question in chat okay 
more on power bi will it be great do you need this to get a good ba job as business analyst right yeah it can be The time required to learn Power BI depends upon the individual learner, previous data utilization, right? And typically it would be takes four to six weeks for learning. And the more we practice, the more quicker we can be learning and focusing on the certification also, right? Any other questions? Yes, BC, it's good we can get a business analyst job with the Power BA by having right level of knowledge. Okay. Now coming back to our presentation, right? So what are the topics we are covering? So Majorly at a course outline, we are going to cover data warehousing concepts, Postgres SQL installation, and about practicing SQLs like DDL, that means data definition language, and DML, querying and data which types, and Power BI installation. And at Power BI, we have categorized it into four types like Power BI query, Power Query, Power Pivot, Visualization, and Publishing. So if I see what we are touch basing in this one, like in data warehousing, we are going to cover introductions. And trust me, having basic understanding on data warehousing is must and should for a person who want to excel in the uh, data related jobs. You want to become a business analyst, data analyst, data engineer, so the concepts, if you see in a mathematics, whatever the new technologies are coming, the basic uh, uh, arithmetics like addition, subtraction, right, multiplications, they never change because they are basics. Even if we are doing some complex queries with highly sophisticated computers, but when you drill down further to the low level, it happens all these arithmetic operations, right? So like that, the data warehousing concepts is very important. How data is arranged? What is the relational database? What is a dimension tables? What is a fact tables, right? So these topics we are going to cover in the data warehousing concepts in the first class, okay? So I got a question, what degree of IT knowledge do you need to have to be able to excel in business analyst? So Muno, so basic degree is fine. Okay, the graduation, graduation is fine. And majority company normally ask uh, a basic graduation degree, right? So it's good enough having a graduation degree in a, any of the streams, okay? And next, data warehousing concepts is followed by our Postgres SQL, okay? In the Postgres SQL, we are going to touch base DDLs, means data definition language. Suppose you got a task of creating a database. So what are the tables, how to create a tables, how to create some constraints, right? and how to modify the table structure. These topics we will be covering in the SQL, structure query language, and DML, data manipulation language. So how to write an SQL query to insert the data, to update the data, to delete all these things, right? And uh, you can trust me by learning these SQLs in Postgres SQL, 90% 
you would be comfortable with other databases also. Oracle uses same SQLs with a minor syntax changes, right? Microsoft SQL. Uh, you can also compare. I mean, I just, you can Google it. What is the difference in the SQL of Microsoft Office and uh, Oracle or Postgres SQL? Everything is similar. Just a kind of a, some features at the advanced level, there would be different, right? So we are we would be focusing on creating the tables, structures, and we would be inserting the data updating. And we are going to learn some important queries like joining, table expressions, combining queries, all these things. And most important topic is about the data types. So how each and every data is represented. What is the data type? it is and what is the significance and what is the importance of declaring data types these points we are going to cover postgres sql right and when i had a discussion with lakshmi while preparing this course so what we decided is that whoever coming to our i mean our students are uh, completely new to it world so this is the first criteria so that is the reason uh, in our course, I am touching the basics concepts and we will go to some mid-level, right? And if the students are good enough and you are completing those things, then I'm going to help you to learn further advanced topics also, right? But whenever we are having the class, it would be considered that a you know, holistic view that, okay, my students would be completely new. So we would be touching like completely the basics right so whoever the student some students if you have already knowledge and if you are interested on advanced topics then i'm happy to give more and more uh topics and assignments to them and having a constructive discussion okay so next comes to the power bi right so power bi always looks very more and more colorful right because it's a kind of a like a final presentation where we should be attracting. I mean, if you prepare a report that should be attractive and takes the attention of the audience, right? So in this again, if you see it starts with data. So as a part of data, we are going to touch base how to connect with other systems. There are Power BI has a capability of connecting to hundreds of systems to get the data, whether it's a files, databases, data lakes, any real time systems, anything. If you say name of a system, as yes, Power BI has the capability to connect to that system and get the data, right? And as a part of our course, I'm going to give you a demo of four systems, like how to connect to the Excel sheets, how to connect to the Microsoft folders or folders and pull the data and how to connect to a database, get the data and how to pull the data from the websites. So all those things. And we are going to do some transformations and we do some merging and some automations, right? And once we get the data, then we are going to do some analysis. Like if you see here, data modeling, creating a measure, summarizing, calculations, all these things. And comes with the visualization. Visualization means creating a nice report or dashboard based on the parameters filters, formatting, conditional, right? And finally, we are going to publish this to the wider audience, so those things. So these would be topics, those are going to cover, right? How to do, just whatever that is image, so we are going to cover these things, right? So this is how our course will go on. So we are having 15 hours class, 
each class is one hour right and uh, i'm going to start 15 minutes earlier only class to take the any q and a's from the previous class or to clarify any doubts and after the class also we would be spending 15 20 minutes right along with that each and every class would be recorded with a high quality zoom and the good thing is i'm going to upload this class recording in the youtube with a restricted access to only to the students registered students right so which means suppose if you missed any class or if you want to revise the class you can do that thing on the fly you just need to make sure uh, that youtube links which i am going to send you over the mail along with the assignments you just keep them in a separate folder or bookmark them right so that it's easy for you to just put your headset or earphone and listen to the class recording once again keep the notes and practice it and it is accessible for you unlimited times and also suppose if you want to refresh you again so you can join in the next batch also okay so that is fully only thing is that i would expect that at least you should be prepared and come for the next batch hmm? that is one thing class recordings timings right so considering it is a 15 days so our course would be covered over three weeks right so in case of any holidays so due to whatever the reason then we may be extending few more classes in the fourth week and i'm going to give you a detailed publish of that one right any questions or queries i will pause here i hope i just given you overview of the course structure and how we are going to be and let me show you the power bi and postgres sql just one second the way it looks because let me open both power bi and postgres Are we going to needing payment access to any site? No, David, you don't need to uh, pay anything for any of these sites, okay? For learning material, Microsoft, I'm going to ha have handpicked the best articles, right? And I'm going to share with you. As I told you, PG Admin and Power BI desktop version we are working, both are free versions, right? And Power BI services, we can get a trial version okay only thing is that whenever you are attending for certification just you need to pay some 150 dollars that's a certification exam fees microsoft certification okay the class time would be same that we are now having it right uh, it would be like around 8 pm or 9 pm based on your local time zone right same timing so whatever the current webinar timing is going on the same timing so let me connect If I just go, uh, I want to just show you some SQLs as a part of Power BI. The good thing with this SQLs is, if you see here, the SQL also looks like a simple natural language. Like how we talk. Suppose if I want to create a table, I tell to the Postgres SQL, create table branches and i will give the column names and what is its data type and constraints that's it right so learning sql is not a kind of some highly coding complex coding no it's a simple natural language even while i'm explaining i'm going to explain you like that only you don't need to worry of this many number of lines once we have the first class on creating the tables then you realize oh 
is it this much simple <laughs> only thing is that practice is needed suppose if you want to populate tables what we say suppose if you want to put some things in a room then we will say hey put those items in the room that means and synonymy for foot is insert insert into table just you tell in which columns what values need to be placed right similarly if i show you another example say for how you see the data suppose if you go someone hey show me those items hey show me those articles hey can you show me your book or select right see select so if you want to see some data you say that select star from customers data is visible if you say that hey select that dress that dress is good similar like this suppose if i want only the particular ssn number select st star from customer stars means wildcard character star means okay show me all the things in that particular table and for whom where class so there is an error came so a certain number seems to be a string and it will simply gives errors also operator does not exist character varying equal to integer so it's saying a character cannot be compared with integer i think that is the error yeah see and if you see here each column name and its data type just a small demo on the sql how it looks and suppose if you want to change any details of the table you just tell the postgres sql hey alter the table just alter the table and what you want to do add a new column that tells add column if you want to remove a column drop right similarly update suppose there is a, some existing data in the table and you realize it that okay the data is outdated that now i need to update with the new information then update we call them as dml data manipulation language that means we are manipulating the data right similarly if you want to remove something delete delete from sql and if you want to combine something different tables it's join you are telling select star from select everything from customers join accounts on customer id so wherever customer ids are common between these tables please pull those records right trust me in our course so if i show you this ppt i mean we can simply craft like okay this course is for power bi so you are going to learn but i just want to make sure since you are completely new to the it that you should be having some understanding how your data is preparing okay because here we want we want we want to be a developers of power bi we don't want to be end users of power bi if you want to be just end user then all this postgres data warehousing is not really required but we want to become a career i mean we are here to find a career in power bi which means we should be knowing in detail about power bi at the same time we should be knowing what is happening outside the power bi also i mean how my data is getting how it is handcraft 
even power bi within itself is also having data warehousing because it also maintains a data model so that is the reason we are covering data warehousing and postgresql hello ari i would love to join the batch starting on it but i would be missing the classes for the first week you can always catch up the second week let me know is it allowed before i proceed with my research yes yes vera it is allowed okay and i would be happy to support you okay only thing as i told you na so i'm going once you registered definitely you would be added into my students list and you would be giving full access to the class recording so that you can practice the classes okay so a small demo on sql now let me show you how the power bi looks so let me open uh, before opening any file if you see the way the power bi user interface is architectured right and let me put the microsoft office excel also side by side right so if you see here in microsoft excel or ms word we have the tab where similar options are grouped under one tab right ribbons normally we call it as and all those things we do like if you see data get data and if you see here the get data is the major one excel workbook data hub transform data and if i go to the insert in the insert we have the charts sparklings filters all these things are there right text similarly when you compare with the power bi if you see insert we have all the visuals in excel we call them as charts in power bi we call calling them as visuals text box more visuals new visual and if i go to the insert again we are going to have visuals artificial a visuals means artificial intelligences power platforms helps to automate the things we are not touching these topics okay and elements like text box button shapes let me show you see these are all the shapes correct if i show you shapes see here new table viewing how you want to view see you will have the themes and all those things right zoom in zoom out switch grid lines same thing grid lines snap filters and we have on the left side right side pan all the options are there data visualization build visuals filters whichever you want you can just click on it if you want to hide just unhide them right suppose let me open a file cadbury sales where is my commercial fire brand no just checking where is my latest one this one how long will a student have access to the materials and youtube class recording joseph it is unlimited okay uh again i want to be more optimistic on this one so initially i am going to give an access to 90 days right and i am going to extend that access also actually i can say it's unlimited but problem is when i say this word students are i mean they are delaying their practice okay so it will be there i will put as long as you want it okay uh, is the content of the course enough to get power bi certification yes pallavi
Thank you. Thank you. Yes, this contents is good enough to practice for the certification. And I am also going to give you some modules to complete as a part of certification. Okay. Uh, I will come to that part also. Okay. So this is a simple demo of the Microsoft Power BI visual that we created in our previous class, previous batch. Right. Uh, if you see here, like if I'm trying to change the theme, that's it. And these things we do in the PowerPoint presentation, if you remember, if anyone have data, all the things, right? And if you click on get data, if I just let me go to more, see, from this many systems, we can pull the data. That means what Power BI can do. Let me uh, get that statement from the Microsoft itself. Power BI is a collection of software services, apps and connectors that work together to turn your unrelated sources of data into, so unrelated sources of data. That means data can be there from any of the system you don't need to have a relation between these systems. Power BI will do us. I mean, we can do with the help of Power BI into coherent, visually impressive and interactive insights. Right? Your data might be in the Excel spreadsheet or collection. Excel spreadsheet or a collection of cloud-based and on-premises hybrid data warehouses. So Power BI lets you easily connect to your data source, visualize and discover what's important and share that with anyone or everyone you want. A simple statement, four line statement. And this statement is provided by Microsoft itself. So I'm just presenting you that one. And second thing is, uh, any questions still now? I think we have the core structure. I just given a small demo of this one. If we have, if we don't have any questions, then what we will do is, we will go to the certification part. And then I will explain you uh, what are the job opportunities and how to pre practice for that one. Okay, I will take it as no. Uh, let me come to the next topic, certification. So, where is this one? So, that the certification that is required or best fit for Microsoft Power BI is Power BI Data Analyst Associate and its number is PL300, right? So after, sorry. So after our course completion or during the course completion, during the course happening, right? When we start Power BI. So I'm happy. So these are all the modules are there. So if you see here, learning path. So there is a learning path uh, where Microsoft is provided a detailed flow right so i'm going to guide you how to start with this and complete these modules right and there are some practice assessments right so i would be guiding you with this practice assessment and this would be out of the course i am telling you because our course would be 15 days so main focus would be the topics that is present in the course and then the assignments to be completed right but based on your interest, I am I'm going to follow up. So I'm going to completely provide full assistance on completing these assignments. 
I'm going to guide you how to prepare for the practice assessments. Okay. So there we can do a multiple practice assessments. So once we are confident, then we would good to the for the certification. Having certification is very good, right? And this certification is uh, completely managed and monitored by OVU software. So that means whenever we are doing certification, it will completely capture our room and webcam would be on, right? And all those things are there. So definitely when we are going attending for the exam, it's good that we are well prepared for it. Okay, it's cost $165, so you need to pay it Microsoft. Uh, you can select your own country so that it will give the cost, right? So this is all about certification, right? Any questions with certification? And one of the important thing that comes with the Power BI, the competitor is Tableau. So the business intelligence tools, when they have a competitor, definitely each tool will have their competitor, right? So Tableau is the competitor for Power BI. And if you ask me advantages of Power BI is, it's a Microsoft product. So which means the user interface, all the features, calculating measures, everything either represent Microsoft Excel or Microsoft PowerPoint or sometimes Microsoft document also. So we know, I mean, my understanding is 100% we are going to be aware, right? 100% we would be having some level of hands-on experience with Microsoft Office tools. So which means definitely it is going to help. And coming to the job opportunities, yes, Microsoft Power BI is one of the leading thing. If you see, just if you can search it, what about the jobs available? If I type Power BI, Microsoft Power BI, internship, mid-level senior. So if you see here, we have 15K results are there, right? And depends upon our knowledge set okay so what i am going to do is after our class completion so i am going to sit with individual student what are the job titles someone with knowledge of power bi can get okay like data analyst power bi ba business analyst like this Okay, job market is very good, right? And the salary is also very good and decent with the Power BI. And if you see, these are all the available jobs in the United States. I just click on United States. Okay, so if you see data analyst, financial planning, Power BI developer. We have an urgent requirement for Power BI develop at Atlantis, Dallas, Middle Seattle on-site location. And if you see business requirements in the context of BA and create data models to transform. Using Power BI, create dashboards and interactive visuals. Define KPIs, key performance indicators, right? Use Power BI to run DAX queries and functions. Create charts, data documents, explaining algorithm. If you see here, construct a data warehouse. Use SQL to get the best results. Right? So what I strongly believe is having Power BI is good, but having Power BI along with data warehousing knowledge and SQL is going to be the best. You can be placed best of it. Be familiar with Microsoft SQL, Stack, SSL, Power Query, MDX, Analytics. Job market is very good, no doubt about it. It's all about we should be gaining right knowledge. 
and prepare for the interviews that's it design develop etl collaborate with stakeholders to understand their reporting needs and provide tailored power bi and good thing is if you want to be power bi developer we should be thinking like a businessman <laughs> okay so what is my business how it is going on what things i need to analyze if i want to grow my business those things i just kept couple of uh, topics open like what is the average salary even google trends also shows slowly there is a increase in demand for both postgres sql and power bi i just taken for usa for last 5 years so this is one of the good thing when we see power bi but it's a combination so if you go to the a restaurant we order a combination of dishes right or a dish would be combination of different ingredients like that our course is a combination of data warehousing postgres sql and power bi that means as a power bi developer that you don't need to depend on other person or other technical person to understand a database suppose someone says that hey this is my database now you create a report power bi dashboard then it should not be like that okay i don't know database again i want another person means then your manager thinks why don't you learn so better we learn and go there and in sometimes you they may provide you the excel sheets so at that time you really you may don't required a knowledge on database or sql but it's always good to have a right knowledge so that we would be ready to face any situation that comes right so we covered course overview topic timings certification i covered so this is a power bi services and a sample uh, dashboard that we publish so if you see this one so we are going to learn how to present a dashboard or report like total category volume percentage of market share total categories and in our course we are going to learn what is the best ways or approaches that we follow to arrange these visuals each chart is a visual now we should be deciding how to place this chart in the canvas so if you have a big canvas then you are a painter then we should be knowing which particular item should be placed where so that it will be attracted and another important one liner statement which i tell to everyone is like power bi is a combination of arts and science getting all our data arranging them in a proper data model is science now presenting it in a nice beautiful visual is art we need to know na which colors are good which what is the color combination that i should use which colors looks more attractive so that is a combination of arts how related is power bi to big data right question mono mono so big data is a place where we can store data that is bigger means terabytes pickabytes and also big data has a capability we call big data as a data lake that means we can store it in a unstructured data also so structured data means let me show you one small flow diagram
I got the right link. So we are talking about data warehouse and data lakes, right? So if I come to a diagram where it is, data lakes. I should be having a nice data. Does data warehouse works? Lake house architecture. Right. So the understanding is data warehouse means it should be having some organized data. Okay, suppose if you take a manufacturing warehouse or a kind of a warehouse that is used for a pharmaceutical company or a car manufacturing, where you arrange your data in an orderly fashion that initially it is designed, say that these type of product should be placed in these racks and this kind of product should be placed in this particular location within the warehouse, right? Now, when it comes to the big data, it have the concept of data lake. We all know, right, lake. We see lakes, normal in general geography lakes. It have lots of water and organized in differently. So, a lakes or data lakes or big data, what it does is, it gives us the capability of storing structured, unstructured, semi-structured. Now, if you ask me stream is structured means, suppose if you have a Twitter or Facebook, I can write anything. I can post whatever I want. Twitter tweets, there is no relation. There is a, some topic someone raises, everyone will post on it. So data lake or big data focuses on these unrelated data. Suppose if you have a documents, images, all these comes under unrelated data. Now, what is the relation between big data and our Power BI is our Power BI has a capability of connecting to the big data systems also. Suppose if you say big data systems, what would be there? Anything beyond MongoDB, MariaDB, right? Or Hadoop systems. Normally, Hadoop file systems. So our Power BI has a capability. Suppose you say that it was, this is my HDFS, Hadoop file system, which is a big data. Now it is having millions of records. Now you start analyzing. Then my Power BI, I can connect to these big data systems and start the analytical part of it. Is it clarifies? Big data acts as one of source to Power BI. It says source to target relation. Okay, any questions? Let me one second uh, stop sharing. 